What's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna actually do a little something new. I'm gonna um, review. I'm gonna do a set review. So today I'm gonna review the Atu Island training set. And yeah, this has definitely been anticipated. Like I said, mostly for the old man Luke Mayfig. And then yeah, we'll see. Uh, it came out um, 2018 and is 30 bucks in the United States. And yeah, we'll see if it's worth the money. So let's start with the figures. Yep, so here he is, Luke. And he looks pretty good. And beard and everything. Reminds me very much of the Obi-Wan minifigure, actually, because they do look sort of similar. But, yeah, so he's got his beard and everything. Does have an alternate face. And then, yeah, let's also take a look at that hair. This is, I believe, a new hair mold. And... So... And he comes with... Scepter, cane thing, or something. And then, yeah, his torso is very nice. And then, I think... I think this is a new cape, because I've never seen a cape that is like this. It's actually a little bit bigger than usual kind of capes. And also, in the time of this pre uh, recording, uh, Luke is exclusive to this set. And, but, and, yeah, we'll see if he shows up in any other sets, but in, um, for now, in, as in of this re recording, he is ex exclusive to this set. And, of course, the artificial hand. Gotta have artificial hand. So on to the next minifigure, Ray. So here is Ray, and actually this is actually my first Ray minifig, funny enough. And yeah, she comes with her little stick thing. And yeah, I love her torso. Her torso looks great. Too bad she doesn't come with a satchel though, because I believe she had like a satchel or a bag or something, so it's too bad she doesn't come with a satchel or something, but oh well. And then her hair looks <laughs> weird in a good way. And yeah, she also has back printing and does she have alternate face? oh yeah she does there's her alternate face is a little bit more of a stern like face and of course since this is a Star Wars set it's gotta come with a lifesaver I mean a lightsaber sorry it's the blue lightsaber there we go and our last minifigure or more of a little build you can say is a porg which is nice because uh, this uh, the porgs are only in two sets: this set and the other being the eight hundred dollar UCS Millennium Falcon. So yeah, it's little, these little fuzzballs are pretty cute. And look at the, just look at those eyes. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty much brick built. And. Yeah, so yeah, that's really all there is to this guy. And then as for the instructions, it gets a little hard. Like, it gets just a little confusing on, you know, which part is supposed to go where. But, you know, it's not 16 plus set difficulty. And I'll give it a B. And then on to the build itself. It looks pretty good. Got, like, a little flame there. And I'm also glad that they did this was that they finally decided to get smart and have the flame be attached to some studs. Which finally, I'm glad. Finally, I'm glad that they finally did that because they've done it like just like plain like this in some sets, and it just keeps falling off. So, so it gets so annoying. But at least finally they're smart this time. And then got like a little curtain there, like that. Little curtain. And then let's go inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. Got like a little bucket there with a fish. Got uh, whatever this thing is. And uh, got like a little frying pan back there. And um, and also this is real cool, like a full up bed. I actually find this little building really cool. It's almost like a survival uh, camp. Like a survival shelter. That's what it almost feels like. It's very cool. Oh yeah, also another little thing you could do is you could take the top off, kind of like a modular building. 
So yeah. So maybe like a show you a little overhead view of the inside. There we go. I think I also got like a little toilet there. <laughs> Old style toilet, that's what it looks like. I don't know. I just guessing that's what it is. Here's some of the play features. Yeah. It's really only got like two place features. Like one is I guess for some reason this rock can do this. Like, I don't know, like stormtroopers attacking and shoot this and it shoots out or something. I don't know what's up with that, but. And then the other and better play feature is you can recreate a scene with Ray and have her slice the rock. Yeah, if I can get her on the stand there. Have her slice the rock like this. Should probably move her head a little. Yeah. There we go. That's better. And then have her. Hit the rock. And then this is what's inside the rock is like a little crystal or something. Like maybe like crystals that you can make a new lightsaber with. Because yeah, I heard that lightsabers are made of crystals. If you want more information, go check out uh, Super Carlin Brothers channel. I think they made a few videos about those. So. But yeah, it's really actually you're just supposed to swing her like that, whoop, <laughs> and like get her to hit the rock. But I just like to do it slowly because at least it's more movie accurate that way. But yeah, you're supposed to do it like that. But. Then there's a little suggestion I have for um, a few of my buddies were saying that they wish that the the island could be a little bigger. Like I said, where the island was bigger. And well, I actually have a suggestion of how you can actually make the island a little bigger. We buy a really big. Uh, green um, base plate like this, and then um, and then put the island on top of it, so it would make it look like the island is a little bigger. And then there you go. You have a much bigger island now. So yeah. So in conclusion, I only have a few minor complaints about this set, and that is like. At first I thought the Luke minifigure was pretty and good, but then I saw like um like clips of Luke and you can actually see his hair is actually like a little bit more on the black side and this one's I don't exactly know what you call this color hair, but but yeah, I just kinda wish maybe his hair is maybe a little bit more blackish because that'd be more accurate to the movie, but but eh, I still like this minifigure. I still like besides that little nitpick, I still like the May figure and yeah, on my other complaint is the price. Like yeah, like it does seem as if um like they already knew the set would be popular, so they decided oh let's not make it twenty, let's make it thirty. <laughs> but but eh, well I didn't get it for thirty though. I got it for twenty three at Walmart. Like anyway, check you guys as Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I think and yeah, I think that's it. Um, I don't really have any other complaints. I actually really do love this set, and it does seem as it seems as if it's. I'm gonna give much movie uh, two yeah, island training set a five out of five. Seems almost like a survival shelter, almost. So yeah, actually, besides a few nitpicks, this is actually probably the best Lego Star Wars set in a while. So yeah, so what do you guys think of? Uh, this set. Are you maybe are you gonna pick it up some uh, time? And do you like this set? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section uh, down below. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed. I very appreciate it. And to all of you who have not subscribed, I'll be waiting. See you next time on Golden Light Pictures.